artifacts are the biggest source of income into the zone, but the inner mechanisms behind these legendary objects have yet to be understood. Hello stalkers, and welcome to the anomalous dugout. In this video, we will try to explain all the artifacts, properties and descriptions from Stalker Clear Sky and Call of Pripyat. Indeed, both games share the same roster of artifacts. I also want to mention that almost all of them are radioactive, so we won't remind it every time. With that said, let's get into it. The crystal appears in places with high thermal activity, that is to say, a high concentration of burner anomalies. It somehow consumes heat and remains cool to the touch. This means that high temperatures are absorbed by this artifact, allowing a relative protection of its user from burns. Like the previous artifact, the fireball stays cool to the touch, but here we get more precision. The object remains at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, or approximately 24 degrees Celsius, in apparently any situation. This effectively keeps its close surroundings cool and protect from fire and heat. The mammoth beads apparently remains a mystery for scientists, who are especially puzzled by its shape. What is known, however, is that the thicker sections of this artifact are pulsing, creating emissions that increase the metabolism of its user, helping blood to clot quicker and thus healing wounds faster. The eye got its name from its appearance. It seems to function similarly to the mammoth beads, since it has the same effect, but increased. It is also said that experienced stalkers believe that this artifact brings luck, but we don't know much more. The flame is only formed in the most active thermal anomalies, explaining its rarity. Unlike the mammoth beads, this one emits infrared emissions, apparently powerful enough to boost metabolism to the extent of being able to heal wounds right before your eyes. The stone blood is composed of fossilized plants, soil, bones and other animal debris polymerized and wrapped together. Somehow it is able to partially neutralize chemical poisons, but the process behind this property is not explained. As its name suggests, the meat chunk is made out of fossilized, mutated animal tissues. In Clear Sky, it is said that this artifact produces a mucous fluid that protects from chemicals. But in Call of Pripyat, we learn that it actually transforms chemicals into this mucous fluid, thus neutralizing them. The round-shaped soul artifact is an organic object that has the ability to increase the recovery rate of its user without accelerating the accumulation of toxins. This means that it heals all sorts of damages caused to the human body, but maybe it works with any living creatures, who knows. The color buck has the amazing property to heal wounds in a matter of minutes. It really looks like the urchin from Shadow of Chernobyl, so we can wonder if it also needs to poke its user to function. Its description also says that scientists have spread the rumor that the color buck interacts with its user's genetic code, which could completely be true. The firefly apparently works with an unknown type of field, which energy increases the healing processes of living creatures, even better than the colobok. 
its user can regenerate his organic tissues and organs very fast, to the point where this artifact can heal up badly injured people literally in seconds. It is even said that the firefly can bring people back from the dead, although this is probably just a rumor. The sparkler is said to be part of the electrostatic family of artifacts. This means that it contains static electric charges. In any case, it is able to smooth fluctuations in electric field density, which basically reduces the strength and thus the danger of electric fields. The flash is also an electrostatic artifact made out of heavily crystallized molecules that make it a powerful electricity absorber. Indeed, this artifact can protect its user from electric shocks of up to 5000 volts. However, it is said that the electricity absorbed by the flash has to be later discharged, but we don't really know how this works. The exact conditions in which the battery is created are unknown to science, but we know that it is yet another electrostatic artifact that also includes the electric elements. It has the capability of energizing its user, allowing better end runs restoration. Yet, its description also says that it can tire its user if used for too long so it is possible that this artifact has changing properties over time. The shell was apparently considered trash until scientists discovered its properties. Keeping this artifact in constant contact with your body will have a stimulating effect on your nervous system, which somehow restores your energy. It is possible that this is just a psychological effect, but we don't really know, unfortunately. The snowflake is said to have unique electrostimulative properties, which boost the bearer's vitality and muscle tone. Because of its appearance, some people think that this artifact is a color bug that was exposed to a powerful anomalous electric field. But this is just a rumor, and it is very unlikely that a color block would fall in an electro anomaly, since chemical and electrical anomalies are never found close to each other. The Night Star is a glowing artifact that is able to create a local, directed low gravity field, effectively reducing the weight of nearby objects. It is thus used by stalkers to carry more load in their backpacks. Its description in Clear Sky states that it also helps with stamina regeneration, but this is likely a mistake, since this doesn't appear in Call of Pripyat anymore. The Gravi is composed of metallic substances that were exposed to gravitational anomalies. Like the previous artifact, it is able to create an anti-gravitational field that can be used to easily carry heavy objects. The goldfish is basically an upgraded version of the gravity, created in the largest gravitational anomalies that are described as super interactions of gravitational fields. This artifact creates an upward gravitational force field that almost makes items weightless. The applications of such an object are really limitless. The stone flower is made of stone similar to granite that was exposed to gravitational anomalies. The extreme forces of such anomalies transformed this object into a crystallized artifact that is somehow able to protect from psi emissions. Another electrostatic artifact born from electroanomalies, the moonlight resonates under the influence of psi waves. 
This means that it can act as an amplificator of psi waves, but also as a destroyer if it resonates in opposite phase of the emissions. We don't really know how it works, but stalkers have learned how to adjust the moonlight so that it does just that, protecting from psi emissions with great efficiency. The jellyfish is an artifact created by gravitational anomalies. It absorbs radioactive particles, protecting its user from radiation poisoning. It has the exact same appearance of the jellyfish from Shadow of Chernobyl, but not the same properties, and with an additional green glow around it. It is said to be used outside the zone to treat radiation sickness in exceptional circumstances, showing that artifacts are slowly making their way into the big land. Unlike most artifacts, it doesn't have any downsides. The wrenched is similar to the jellyfish, as it is also formed in gravitational anomalies and also reduces radiations. It works like a sponge that absorbs radioactive particles, but we don't know what happens with these particles afterwards. Like all the other rat protecting artifacts, it protects from outside radiation as well as cleanses the radioactivity already present in the body. It doesn't have any bad properties. Formed inside chemical anomalies, the bubble is composed of several hollow organic formations. It creates a special gas that has the ability to neutralize radioactive elements inside the body of its user without bringing any other downsides. We can also notice that it has a special hurt shape, similar to the goldfish. The Hurt of the Oasis is a unique artifact that appears inside the legendary oasis. It is made out of a crystallized plant that has acquired the amazing healing and restorative properties of the oasis. What is strange, however, is the fact that this artifact is highly radioactive, while the water from the oasis cleanses radiation. In any case, the hurt of the oasis can be brought to the scientists in Jupiter as a proof of the oasis' existence, and after that they will keep the artifact for further studies. The legendary compass is supposed to appear inside the space anomaly. Its properties are very different in Clear Sky and Call of Pripyat, and they are never explained. What we know, however, is that this artifact can find the safest routes inside anomalies, allowing its user to travel through the most complex and dangerous anomalous fields. Unfortunately, Using the compass requires a knowledge that most don't have. One of the rare stalkers who was able to successfully use the compass was the forester who managed to get out of a space anomaly thanks to the artifact. Other potential users of the compass could be Noah and Guide. Finally, the description says that it is so rare that it's been many years since one was found, but we actually know that it is wrong. Indeed, at least one was found in 2011 by Forrester, and two more were recovered by Noah, and potentially later by Major Tektairev in 2012. And that is all for today. If you like this content, then you might also be interested in our other videos about artifacts. So be sure to check them out, links in the description. Thank you for watching, stalker, and goodbye.